Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first Feel Good Friday. Every Friday in November is gonna be Feel Good Friday and I'm gonna post um, a video each Friday for feeling good about yourself and feeling better about yourself because I am a strong advocate for self-care. I feel self-care and spirituality go hand in hand together. So I feel like this is a really good way to incorporate this into my channel and to help, hopefully help someone out there. Um, if you want to see the upload schedule, it is over on my community page. I'm going to be doing Law of Attraction, um, self-care, spirituality for beginners, lots of good stuff coming up. But today's video is about anxiety and mental health. So if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. I also upload psychic readings and comment down below some love. Thank you. So if you've been watching me for a while, you will know that I suffer and have suffered with anxiety and at the beginning of the year I had quite a bad attack with anxiety which forced me to kind of look at it in a way that I hadn't looked at it before. I've always had it but it's something I'd always been able to kind of like brush under the side and not really, I don't know, not really dig too deeply into but the way it kind of attacked me at the beginning of the year I had to stop and look at it and deal with it and there are tons of different types of anxiety that's one thing I've learned you know anxiety is just one label but there's a lot of sub labels that come under that and one of the anxieties that I suffer with in fact my main anxiety is health anxiety and I feel like health anxiety is something that's not really talked about um so I did look up the definition for anxiety and yeah I feel like this is what anxiety is. So what is anxiety? Anxiety is a feeling of worry, nervousness or unease about something with an uncertain outcome. So you can just feel anxious about specific situations. So some people may not suffer with anxiety um, but they may feel anxious about going to work or they may feel anxious about um, their relationship or they may feel anxious about specific like a specific thing and it may just be a one-time thing and they will never feel anxious again and then other people will feel anxious continuously throughout their life and unfortunately <laughs> I'm one of those people and I'm not the only one I know a lot of people suffer with anxiety so I want to talk about the symptoms of anxiety because these are symptoms that I didn't notice for a long 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 time and when I went to talk to my doctor she had explained to me in depth why this happens in your body and what's actually happening so with anxiety um actually zoella did a video on it and i will link it below because while i was going through my anxiety period it really really helped me she said that some people like just imagine we're all cars and we're outside and there's a big storm going on and there's a big gust of wind now some cars won't be affected by that wind they'll just sit there they'll stay still and be fine whereas other cars will be blown by the wind and their alarms will start going off and everything will start panicking them and that's kind of what it's like having anxiety so there are numerous symptoms you can get headaches um backache arm like pain shooting up and down your arm you can get pins and needles can't sleep sleeping too much um stomach pains having to constantly go to the toilet I'm trying to think of all the symptoms that I suffered with. Um, you can feel on edge, you can feel very emotional. Um, your heart will start pounding, that's a big one that I suffer with, like heart racing, sweating, um, trembling, like I would get the shakes when I was going through my really bad period. There are a lot of symptoms um, surrounding anxiety and I'll try and leave some links down below if I possibly can. They are just a few, there are tons, there are tons because anxiety is linked with stress and stress has a lot of other um, issues anxiety and stress will affect the way you eat it will affect the way you think it will affect the way you behave you'll have mood swings trust me the symptoms are endless and everyone's symptoms are different with me i suffer with health anxiety and i feel like health anxiety is an anxiety that's not really talked about a lot so health anxiety is an anxiety where you are anxious about your health so for a long time i used to be scared to go to the doctors and i just thought it was just like an irrational fear but when I had this anxiety attack and I began to research more, I was like, oh, I've got health anxiety. So health anxiety is where you constantly think something's wrong with you. 
it's a really horrible anxiety because you can't really differentiate whether it's your logical mind and that it really is something wrong with you or it's just the anxiety and you're being paranoid. So with health anxiety, you might hear something on the radio about a certain illness. You know, they do charity um, adverts and things like that. Um, and you'll start to panic that you have that illness or you'll get a headache. And, you know, everyone gets headaches. It's like a common thing, but you'll think your headache is something going wrong with your brain or... Um, you know, you'll get a stomach ache and you'll think something's going wrong with your stomach ache and a common symptom of health anxiety is googling symptoms and then convincing yourself that that's what you've got and you're ill. Just to kind of summarise this and put this into perspective, I am someone who would never go to the doctors. I feared the doctors. I absolutely despise going. And during my period of when I was going through this health anxiety stuff, I went to the doctors in the space of three weeks about six or seven times because I had convinced myself that there was something wrong with me and that the doctors were going wrong so the doctors would basically say you're fine and I'd be like great I'm fine yay and then I'd get literally out of the doctor's door and I'd be like but they've missed something but they've they've missed something what if they miss something I need to book another appointment I need to see a different doctor because that doctor obviously didn't know what they were talking about and it's just, it's a really irrational way of thinking and it's really scary and it can be really stressful. I'm gonna get really emotional. It's a really, really horrible um, thing to have to deal with. And if you're going through this, I just know that you can get through it because at the time I just thought it was something I would never ever get, get through you can get through it and you just have to keep going and persevere sorry <laughs> just know that if you're going through anxiety i believe you can get through it and you can get through it and i've got some tips to help you get through it and things that have helped me and let me tell you i wish i don't wish i'd gone through it but i'm so grateful that i did because it forced me to look at what was going on with me and what i think the way i do and i understand myself a lot better now and hopefully some things that i've learned you'll be able to kind of learn from as well you can get through it trust me when i was in the midst of my anxiety attack which lasted about two to three weeks on and off i'd lose oh one an another symptom that is very very common with anxiety is losing your breath and feeling like you're having a heart attack and that was one of the things that triggered my anxiety because that had never been a symptom i'd had before my symptoms before were usually feeling very sick in my stomach, having to go to the toilet a lot. They were my symptoms and I, I knew them and I could manage them. And then all of a sudden it all changed and I lost my breath. I couldn't breathe and I thought I was dying and that just triggered me off. And I just want you to know that it's just your body reacting. When I went to the doctors and I explained everything that happened, she explained to me and I can't put into words like what she said, but I will tell you to the best of my ability. She just basically said, when you're under a lot of stress and anxiety, your body has to react in a certain way. It, because you're not behaving in a normal way that you would, your body has to adjust to that. So it starts to... Um, because you're breathing differently, your heart starts to beat faster. It's not because you're having a heart attack or anything like that. It's because your body is trying to keep up and support you. You may even pass out, but that's your body trying to protect you. It's trying to shut you down because the thing with anxiety is it's something that's steeped from history and it's actually to do with the fight or flight chemical. I know a lot of people talk about this, but your body thinks you're in danger and when you're in danger you do one of two things you either get ready to fight so the adrenaline starts going in your body because you need the energy or you run away but either way you need the adrenaline so you need the adrenaline to run or you need the adrenaline to fight but because we're not doing any of that because we just feel scared the adrenaline just sits in our body and that's when our body starts reacting that's when we start getting the shakes and pins and needles and our heart starts pounding and we can't breathe it's because we haven't got anything to, to do with with our adrenaline and that's why they recommend exercise and walking and things for anxiety because they help to burn off the extra energy so once you understand the scientific reasons behind anxiety you can begin to work with it a bit more but I have got some tips which I hope will help you so tip number one this one really really helps me I no longer see my anxiety as an emotion I look at it as a person and I know that's really weird but I've given my anxiety a like a human humanized body i treat it like it's a monster and when i feel it coming i'm just like no go away because if someone came into your life 
and started treating you the way he treats you like say you've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they started treating you horribly and making you feel scared and making you cry and I would hope you'd be like no not for me go away and so that's how I look at anxiety now I don't look at it as an emotion I look at it as a person coming into my life or into my mind and when I see or feel it coming I'm like no not today go away I use a lot stronger words but I'm like no and I treat it like it's a person rather than an emotion and I know that's really weird but it's something that's really really helped me and I say no you're not going to do this to me I don't deserve to be treated this way by you leave me alone and I actually say it out loud and it's crazy but it really really works for me so I kind of I just spoke about this briefly but learn the science behind it learn the symptoms learn what your anxiety is and why you feel this way and why you're triggered by it don't be scared to research it because the more you can understand about it the more it will ease you it's the unknown a lot with anxiety that makes you more anxious like when your heart starts pounding, you think, oh my god, oh my god, I'm having a heart attack. But no, it's because your body is responding in a certain way. And when you know that, it removes the fear. So do go and to understand why your body is reacting in this way. And it will really help to ease you when you are having anxiety attacks. Eat well and sleep well. Your body being anxious is a result of being stressed. And it's draining and your body needs nourishment at this time. Now this is really hard because when you're anxious and you're stressed, the last thing you kind of can do is look after yourself. And I fully understand that, but your body needs it. Even if the one thing you eat a day is an apple, trust me, I didn't eat anything for a week. And when I did eat, it would be a banana or something, but just make sure something you eat has nourishment in it. I know sometimes you just want comfort food, and even if you just get up and walk or do something that's nourishing for your body, your body, when it's anxious, it's going through a lot of stress. It's, 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 your body is dealing with a lot of stress. So if you can, even if you just rest and sleep and just relax, just do something to nourish yourself because your body really needs it during that time. Or really important, edit who you follow on social media. We are living in a society where social media is everything and everywhere and in everyone's life. We can't hide from it anymore. This is how it is. It is basically taking over. And if you are following people, pages, things that make you feel insecure, uncomfortable, bad about yourself, make you feel anxious, make you feel like you're not good enough, they've got to go. I don't care if you really like the person you're following. I don't care if their goals, I don't care if they, I don't know, I don't care. If they make you feel bad, they've got to go. You have to, because we spent, think how much time you spent on your phone, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on social media. If you are following accounts that make you feel bad and you're spending the majority of the day looking at those accounts, that's not good for you. You need to get rid, have a detox of everyone on there who makes you feel bad and replace them with positive energy. I cannot tell you how much of an impact this has made on me. I only follow accounts now that are positive, do positive quotes, spirituality, and when I look on my Instagram, I feel inspired rather than deflated. I feel, should feel, social media should be a happy space, not a negative one. And I think when you start filtering out who you follow and what you follow, you'll feel a million times better about yourself much for watching um i hope you've been able to take something from this or that i've been able to help in any way if you have any tips for anxiety that i haven't mentioned or you want to extend on what i've said then please leave them in the comments below we can all get to help each other that's one thing another thing that really helps is talking and communicating and saying how you feel there's nothing worse than bottling it up and i want this to be a safe space for anyone who's going through something to talk so please get talking in the comments below positivity only anything negative will be removed and thank you so much thank you so much for watching i am so grateful for every single one of you you have eased my anxiety and made my life so much better and you will never never understand what you've done for me and i'm truly truly grateful if you like this video please hit a thumbs up remember to subscribe down below if you want to join our lovely community and i will see you soon for another video lovelies bye